Welcome back to another SnowRunner truck review. In this video today, we're going to check out a brand new addition to the Thatcher line that was added on September 9th, opening up the year to pass. So before we start, I ask that you please help support the channel by liking and subscribing and sharing the video as well. Alright, so without further ado, let's jump into it and check it out. The Czech company Tatra has the winning formula when it comes to off-road trucks. The Phoenix truck line has been in production since 2011 and placed second in the European Truck of the Year competition in 2012. The Tatra Phoenix boasts a powerful yet efficient Paycar MX engine with a 16-speed transmission as well. With multiple variants, the Phoenix is used in industries like construction, mining, and forestry. In the game of SnowRunner, the Tatra is a well-balanced, dependable vehicle. It does have some hurdles to overcome and its uses are somewhat limited, but its off-road ability is respectable. So before we elaborate on those things, let's take a look at the base stats. The Tatra Phoenix is classified as an off-road truck. It weighs 14 tons. In its stock configuration, it boasts a power to weight of A-, a durability of A, fuel consumption B+, fuel capacity is 345 liters or 92 gallons, it comes with a stock suspension, its tires also come stock with a 46 inch mud tire, its all wheel drive is switchable, and its diff lock is capable. Alright, let's dive into the pros and cons of the Tatra Phoenix. And per usual, bad news first, so coming in at downside number one, small tires. To kick off the downsides list, the first thing you might notice when getting the Tatra back to the garage is its small tires. To put this in perspective, its tire height is tied for third smallest in the off-road truck class. The only vehicles with a smaller tire in its class is the Tatra 805 and the Step 310 Echo. These small tires, although it does have 8 of them, will affect the vehicle in some ways that might frustrate drivers. One irritation is getting hung up on roots, rocks, and fallen trees, which Phase 5 is not short on. The next frustration is directly related to this downside, which also negatively affects performance. Downside number 2, Ground Clearance. While the Phoenix's ground clearance is decent at best, has a good suspension system, and 8 wheels, its small tires and mediocre height doesn't get the vehicle far enough off the surface to mitigate ground resistance. This can be frustrating especially on these newer maps where the vehicle will actually sink down to its frame, rendering all movement halted and prompting a winch. The first two downsides in my opinion would be mitigated with an active suspension and perhaps larger tires, but it is what it is. Countering this can be tough, but just be patient, use low gears, engage all wheel drive and differential locking to make progress. Downside number three, front overhang. For having such a small cab, this downside seems rather funny, but almost half of the cab hangs over its leading axle. We all know what this can mean, damage to the engine when hitting the infamous fast changing terrain areas. Upon inspection, even though this might seem disappointing, you can choose a front end that will elevate the bumper high enough to alleviate a lot of those engine hits that you might take along your journey. Downside number four, slow steering. Later in the video, we'll talk about the Tatra's good side of steering, but for now, we can't mistake that its steering is rather slow. For drivers that like to use the high range gearbox or tend to run a little bit faster down trails, the steering can be a hindrance. In this video, you'll see that I sparingly use the high range gearbox, simply due to how fast the vehicle can move and how slow the steering actually responds. When the steering does respond, it's like a full lock sharp turn. To mitigate this, I found that keeping your eyes on the tires while getting a feel for how much steering input you actually need in certain situations will help you on your travels. Downside number 5, Versatility. Our number 5 downside might be developing a trend within the Tatra truck line. While the other Tatras can equip a roof rack supplies, the Phoenix sadly cannot. It only has a few add-ons as well, including the high saddle, the Tatra exclusive loading crane, the Tatra fuel carrier, and the sideboard bed. I also need to mention that it cannot use the small crane in conjunction with the sideboard bed like the Tatra Force. To wrap this one up, I just wish there were more options for the Tatra to make it useful for drivers. And finally, coming in at downside number 6, it's an end game truck. Not only is the Phoenix what I consider an end game truck, it's also not the easiest truck to find. 
Upon scouting the Antonovsky Nature Reserve on the Rostov Russian maps, there is no clear task to unlock the vehicle. Drivers have to complete a small mission chain called the Cunning Forester. After completing that task, another pops up right where you complete the former task which is called Wipe Away the Debt. Repairing the Thatcher also takes a little bit more than one repair truck add-on as well, which will take a little bit more time. With all that being said, I really wish this was easier to unlock for the purposes of utilizing this machine for tasks and contract completions on the new Phase 5 maps. So those red flags seem pretty tough, but stick around because the Thatcher has some great qualities to balance the scales. Here are the pros for the Thatcher Phoenix. Coming in at upside number 1, Thatcher Backbone Suspension. As we have learned previously in our Tatra T813 review, this truck line has a brilliant suspension system which is nicknamed the Backbone. The Backbone supports all 8 wheels with individual suspension properties and power which is relayed from the central Backbone casing. This is why the tires have a positive camber until adding heavy weight to the vehicle. The Tatra suspension allows for the vehicle to crawl over rocks better than traditional 8x8s because of how well each wheel reacts to the surfaces instead of the whole vehicle frame moving as well. Along with traversing rocks and certain terrains better, the large Tatra trucks have something in common due to this backbone which is next on the list. Upside number 2, Stability. Throughout the video you have seen or will see the vehicle that has shocked me with its balance. Before producing this video, I do thorough tests, especially in the balance department. In one of my tests, I drove the Phoenix on the side of mountains. Yes, mountains. And after about a minute of jaw dropping testing, I pushed it a little bit further with intent of flipping. I did get the vehicle to overturn, but I have to say the vehicle resisted tipping, and I can say it's stable just like the other large Tadger trucks. Upside number three, amazing power. Our number 3 upside seems to be a common feature on this channel, but this engine merits a place on this list. In Phase 4, the Voron Grad got an exclusive engine upgrade giving it crazy power and better fuel consumption. With the addition of Phase 5, the developers shared this engine with the Phoenix as well. Being 14 tons and boasting an S plus power to weight with add-ons speaks to how crazy powerful this engine really is. The vehicle is so powerful that you practically can throw the vehicle into high gear immediately with any load and it will not stall. The Phoenix is not lacking when it comes to power. Upside number 4, all wheel drive and diff lock. Having the ability to have all wheel drive and diff lock is most definitely an upside. The Tatra, like the others, operates under the switchable features giving drivers a choice when to use it. I do have to say the always on diff lock feature would make the Tatra a high range monster, but the vehicle does move through terrain at a respectable pace with these features. Without saying too much, it's nice to have the option of when to use these powerful features and it's also exciting operating under the crazy power of this engine. Upside number 5, All Axle Steering Previously we mentioned that the Phoenix had slow steering speed but the vehicle steers with all axles giving it a tight turning circle for an 8x8. This is great for maneuvering and repositioning the vehicle in tight places. Something it also adds is stability. The ability to swing your back end around actually negates tipping over when you're about to hit that critical threshold. In a way, you can turn into the uphill incline and quickly point your nose up the hill to regain balance and driver comfort. I think if you can handle the slow steering speed, you might enjoy having better maneuverability than most of the bigger 8x8s. Upside number 6, fuel capacity and consumption. When we talk about engine upgrades, it's known that you're trading economy for power, but not so much with this brand new engine. This highly specialized motor says in the description that it still improves upon its fuel efficiency despite having great power. Having a large 92 gallon fuel tank coupled with a huge engine that doesn't eat a lot of fuel will definitely give you great ranges even with heavy loads and this is why it merits itself onto our upsides list. And finally, coming in at upside number 7, it's dependable. This upside only has been used one other time in my Azov 64131 video, but I feel it somewhat applies to this vehicle as well. I believe it's a dependable truck because of its amazing balance, great suspension, crazy power, and decent fuel economy.
Dependability to me is having trust that a vehicle will be able to do the task at hand. The Tatra is a truck that feels like a safety net. During my campaign on the Dawn region, I had no issues when it came to balance or crawling through bumpy terrain. When I tested it and used it on missions as well, I found it was a truck that I drove without care because I just knew that it was a safe bet, which is why I feel this upside is merited. Alright, so moving on to my personal readings for this vehicle. For power, I gave it a 5 because of its new crazy powerful engine which could be one of the best motors in the game. For terrain navigation, a rating of 4. It does have issues with deep mud sometimes, but its ability to stay upright and traverse rocks and bumpy terrain is quite impressive. This vehicle can be hard to use with the high range gearbox due to the slow steering, but overall it's not that hard to get used to. A rating of 4 because, well, we're at the end stages of the game. For aesthetics, I don't dislike how it looks, but I don't think it looks that good either. Stability is among some of the best I've experienced so far, especially from the Tatra line, so definitely a 5 here. Good fuel economy despite having a strong engine, coupled with a large fuel tank will allow movement of great distances without fear of running out of gas. The Tatra just can't use many add-ons, which is one of the bigger downsides, so for this one, a rating of 2. Decent weight, 8 tires, all-wheel drive and diff lock, and the Tatra backbone allows the Phoenix to traverse tough areas with ease. If it didn't sink down to its frame in deep mud, this would be an easy 5. So in conclusion, the Tatra Phoenix is in my opinion a great addition to the game. I was impressed that the developers allowed the high range gearbox coupled with this crazy powerful engine. Upon looking further at the Tatra, its weight distribution and suspension makes it one of my favorites for stability. On the other hand, the downsides are disappointing, especially the versatility. I would love to see a low saddle or even an attachment for logs as well, but it is what it is. In closing, I wish I had more time to drive it, especially on the new maps. By the time you unlock the vehicle, 50% of the new region is actually complete, so that's kind of sad. But for the Tatras, I think it's one of the better additions so far, and I really hope it serves you well. Try it out, and let me know what you think. I hope this review gave you a fresh new perspective of the Tatra Phoenix. Please smash the like button. Definitely share this video with someone who is struggling with the game, and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any future content. Hope you all have a wonderful day, God bless, and stay upright.